Hey everybody, this is going to be my TBR for May. Um, I picked 17 books <laughs> for this month um, because I'm kind of insane, I think. Um, but like, I really wanted to do a lot of books this month. And a lot of these are ones that I had for last month that I just kind of want to get through. Um, so I went with a few themes for this month. Um, and I'm going to kind of kind of go through and kind of tell you as I do in most of these videos. So yeah, um, we're going to start with the first one I have here. And this is Pet Store in the Spine Tingler series. Um, I picked this book because I'm buddy reading a lot of books with this a person one of my best friends and i was trying to find a spine tingler's book that i knew that she couldn't get and unfortunately pet store is about the only one <laughs> that i have that like nobody can find i even have mirror mirror and i found it on walmart of all places for like five dollars so if you guys want to check that out you guys should but yeah pet store i'm on page 50 of this monster um is absolutely terrible um, it started off pretty intriguing. Like I am actually kind of interested to see where it goes. I'm interested in seeing the wild humans storyline. This is basically the family guy episode where Stewie and Brian go and become dogs. Um, yeah, it's not good, but I do plan on finishing it. My next book, I'm actually buddy reading this. Um, I had this in my last, um, TBR video and I'm on page like 60, I think. And it's really, I actually enjoy this. This is Slappy and Dreamland from the Slappy World series. Um, it's actually really, really good. And the dream sequences is the best thing about it, which is crazy because I usually don't love dream sequence books, but this is definitely one of the better ones. The next few books are the ones I just didn't make it um, to finish last um, month or whatever. So I'm going to kind of breeze through those. These are all buddy reads. This is Three Evil Wishes from the Ghost of Fear Street series. Um, I picked this because um, my friend's actually birthday is this month, too. So mine was last month and then this month. So most of these kind of fit the mold of, you know, um, reading these books. So this is Three Evil Wishes. I have Lost and Stink Eye Swamp from the Give Yourself Goosebumps series. I picked this for mine last month. And mostly because I remember really wanting to read this. Um, the Annabelle a doll thing on the back. I think this is the one. It sounded really intriguing. Escape from the Carnival of Horrors, another Give Yourself Goosebumps book. Had this in the last uh, thing, last TBR video. And um, yeah, it's a carnival. Carnival's fit in with birthdays, right? Hocus Pocus Horror, any of these magic stuff really fit in with the um, uh, birthday theme. So that's Hocus Pocus Horror. I still haven't read my first Are You Afraid of the Dark book. This is a tale of the three wishes. I cannot wait to read this. I'm really wanting to hurry up and knock out some of these Are You Afraid of the Dark books so I can buy more. Um, that's mainly <laughs> mainly my goal because I really want to start collecting these. Um, I'm kind of scared to because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm actually really broke and these are really expensive. But yeah, I really want to finish uh, the first Are You Afraid of the Dark book. I just found this at Goodwill of all places. Pretty cool. All right, so next is some newer stuff um, that I'm excited to start. Um, for my birthday, um, the same person I'm buddy reading a bunch of books with got me a couple of these Friday the 13th novelization books, and I'm excited for this. Mother's Day, of course, is in May. Um, I'm very, very excited to read this. This sounds very awesome. Um, these are really, really hard to find, really rare. I definitely do not deserve <laughs> to have this book in my possession, but I do, and I'm, I'm looking forward to reading it. The next one is <laughs> the, uh, I wanted to do Your Mama's a Werewolf for Mother's Day for like a long time, and I actually didn't own it. I used to own it as a kid, or I was like 18, I used to own it, and yeah. Um, definitely can't wait to read this. Um, BD Horror actually said this book is really good, so I'm definitely excited. Um, I got this, actually, I got this as a free book for Thrift Books, and it's actually in really good condition. So that's really cool. All right, so I kind of went with some more stuff about, you know, my mom personally. Um, she loves video games and stuff, so I picked out another Spine Tinglers. This is Killer Computer. I really, really want to read this. Um, I'm not sure if it's anything about video games or not, but Austin over at Monster Blood said this one's really good. Speaking of Monster Monster Blood, Austin, um, 
I picked out Step on a Crack. I picked this mainly because of the whole Step on a Crack, Breaking Brothers Back thing. So, yeah. Definitely can't wait to read that either. Heard this one's really cool. Alright. Up next, I have Slappy Birthday to You from the Slappy World series. Um, again, this is a birthday book. Me and my friend... I've already read this before, and I think think it was just kind of okay, but I haven't done a full review on um, YouTube yet, so definitely want to read this again. Um, I do... The only thing I remember about this book is the, uh, the the weird slappy controlling these little ball pin things and hitting two kids in the head with them or something. Um, so yeah, I really want to do the whole YouTube thing the right way and just review everything from Goosebumps. So, slappy birthday to you. I'll be knocking out this month. Hopefully. God willing. Alright, so another this is another buddy read. And this is another book that I've actually read. Um... A long time ago, probably, I was probably in high school when I read this, and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's one of my favorite books by R.L. Stein. Um, the weird thing is, I had all, I had three of these, and I read the first one in like twenty seven, or no, not twenty seventeen, um, whatever year. It was a couple years in high school, maybe twenty eleven, twelve, something like that. I read this, and I read part two in like <laughs> four years later so yeah i haven't read part three or four so i'm definitely excited to really knock these out i really hope that we can get through all four of these and uh, we're buddy reading all of them so definitely excited for that another book that i picked was um diary of a mad mummy from the give yourself goosebumps series this is this should be pretty easy this is a mummy book you know mummy mom yeah um, Diary of a Mad Mummy. I look forward to reading this. I heard this one's really, really good. Another book that I heard this really, really good by a friend is The Awful Apple Orchard from the Shiver series. Um, she actually gave this five stars. Um, this is another friend of mine that told me this, so I'm definitely excited to read this. Um, I didn't really have a theme for this. I just didn't want 16 books because I don't like number six. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous, but I love the number 17. So, yeah. And FYI, guys, I'm not going to make it through 17 books. I'll go and tell you that now. But I'm going to try my best. All right. Um, the next one I have here is another Give Yourself Goosebumps. This is in Cape. It came from the internet. Um, I felt like this had enough to do with video games to read it. Um, so, yeah. I don't really know much about this one. I haven't heard if it's good, bad, whatever. But, yeah. Definitely look forward to reading it. And last but not least, I told you guys that I'll be doing one original Goosebumps book per month. Um, this is Don't Go to Sleep. Um, so what we've been doing is the person I'm buddy reading this with is, if you guys haven't been paying attention or following me or whatever, um, each month we're going to pick a Goosebumps book at random or whichever one we want to read. Um, she picked, or I picked, a Cuckoo Clock of Doom last month. This month I'm picking, or she picked Don't Go to Sleep. And she was actually very kind enough to pick Don't Go to Sleep because, fun fact, this is my mom's favorite Goosebumps book. <laughs> um, she's She hasn't read all of them, but she's read quite a few. This one's very nostalgic to me because my friend actually gave me this. It's hardcover, beautiful book. I'll be reading this. Um, I look forward to this so much. You guys don't even know. This is one of my favorite covers, too, by the way. this I love, love, love this cover. Um, it is clickbait. Um, none of this happens, but... Um, yeah, definitely look forward to reading this one. Yeah. And that's really it. That's a kind of a quick rundown of everything I'll be reading in the month of, uh, May. I forgot what month it was for a second, but yeah. Um, let me know if you guys have read any of these books, please. And, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.